Hey guys, I'm Action Jacqueline. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I help you feel amazing from the inside out with Pilates, yoga, bar, hit, stretching, meditations, all of your favorites. And today I've got toned bar booty workout. I'm using ankle weights today. They are one pound ankle weights, so I put them one on each leg. If you don't have ankle weights, you can still do this workout without them. You're gonna still feel a nice sculpt and tone throughout the leg. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet. And if you are looking for full 30-day programs and I highly recommend you go check out my stretchy fit app you can start free today I'll leave a link for that down below in the description box Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm super excited about this one um, because I know you guys love my bar workouts here. So we're gonna start by kicking to a diagonal. So we're gonna start on all fours. And you wanna make sure that hand is basically in front of the knees, they might be a little bit in. And then you're going to cross, do a little diagonal, and then you're gonna cross. Okay, so diagonal, cross. All right, so let's get started with that one. Here we go. And diagonal, cross. So I'm out at a diagonal, okay? So if you had a clock around you, you'd be kicking at about a four to five o'clock. Good. So we're doing 20 reps here. Good, nice. So you wanna try to keep the upper body nice and still. Keep the leg nice and high. Belly is pulled in, nice and toned. Good, so you wanna feel the core working even though you're using the legs. Good, nine, eight, seven, and six, five, and four. Already starting to feel the burn, right? Three, two, and one. Good job, so we're gonna go into hydrant and then arabesque extension. So hydrant with the left leg, extension with the right. Good, up and extend, up, extend. So keep those arms firm. So my arms are straight, okay? So I'm not like bending all over the place with my arms. Keep your arms really, really super duper straight. Good, like I said before, keep the abs toned in and reach up and reach. So you wanna feel nice and smooth with your movements. All right, my movements are controlled and steady. The more controlled you are, the harder it actually is, right? So I'm very intentional with where my body goes. Good, nine and up. So we're working both glutes right now, what I really love. Seven and up and six and up. Keep the shoulders nice and square and three, and up, and two, and up. You're doing awesome. One, and up. Great job. All right, so now we're going to turn around, come on to your elbows like this, like you're chilling out at the beach, and then we're gonna extend the front leg. You're gonna rotate the hip so you're in an, a turned out tendu position, meaning you wanna try to bring your heel up, okay, so you're an external rotation in the hip. We're going to lift and lower. You gotta do it with control, okay? Don't just flop the leg around. Nice, beautiful line. Point the toes and lift up for 20 and 19, 18. So you're gonna probably feel a stretch in the legs. I feel like Jane Fonda right now. But this is really good for the quad, for the hip flexor. Many times we forget about actually strengthening our hip flexor. And this is going to really shape your leg nice and beautiful. Long legs, nice. Good, 14 and 13. So I love this one, because like I said, you're getting a stretch as you are strengthening it. 11, stay up high on the elbows. So don't let yourself like sink down like this, okay? Lift up that chest, nice and tall. Abs are pulled in. Good, eight, nice and steady. Seven, six, five. 
Beautiful work, keep that leg turned out. Three and two, feel that inner thigh work a lot. And one, good job. Okay, so now we're going clam to arabesque. So we're gonna be in a little clam here, press down into the elbow. I'm still using my left leg. So I'm gonna tap here in my clam and then I'm going to turn my hip forward like this, right? So I can extend to the arabesque. All right, so I open up the hips and then I close the hips. Open, close, okay? It's really important you do that. So you open and then you extend, nice. All right, here we go, 20 times. 20 and 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, keep those abs toned in, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, try not to sink into your shoulders, seven and six, feel that booty burn, five and four, three, two, one, Whew. definitely feel that. All right, it's so important to strengthen our hips and booty like this. All right, so we're gonna place the hands out onto the ground. The legs are gonna start like this. Um, and we're gonna tuck the back toe. So I'm gonna tuck the right toe and I'm going to extend all the way out into a three-legged dog. And then we're gonna slowly tap it down. Now I say slowly because it takes a lot of work in the upper arms and abs to slowly bring that leg down. And we're gonna extend, straighten the leg, point the toe, lower all the way down. We're gonna do that 20 times. And 20 and lower. 19, you can make it more challenging for yourself by just hovering over the mat, meaning the knee doesn't actually touch the ground. You just barely kiss the mat. So you can add that little challenge for yourself. You're gonna notice the arms and abs definitely working a lot. Good, so don't forget to extend the leg behind. I kind of forgot, I was so focused on talking. Good, 14 and 13. 12, nice, 11, and 10, nine, eight, seven, and six. Great job, five, almost there, and then we're gonna switch to the other leg after this one, four, and three, and two, and one, and come down. Okay, now we move to the other leg. Here we go, we're gonna kick diagonal and then kick across. Here we go, so I'm gonna work on my right leg now. Diagonal, cross, diagonal, cross, good. 20 times, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, keep those arms straight, 3, and two, and one. Whew. Burn, burn, baby, burn. All right, side and extend. Side and extend. So you wanna feel that little catch at the top in the booty, right? So I straighten my leg all the way. Whew. Lift and extend, lift and extend, good. So I challenge you to feel the core as that leg lifts up into the hydrant. Feel the core work. Engage, meaning that you don't go along with the leg, right? Because then the core doesn't work. Keep the shoulders and hips square, good. 
up, extend, five more, five, reach, four, reach, three, reach, two, one, all right. Whew. Feeling that, are you feeling that too? I bet you are. Okay, we're gonna do right leg tendu. Remember, press into the elbows to lift up the chest. Okay, now like this. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, turn out the leg. Here we go, 20, 19, 18, 17. So if you've ever wanted to kick yourself in the nose, this is how. <laughs> One time I actually did and I, I almost broke it. I did get really dizzy. I was performing at one of the games. I can't remember if it was a Clipper game or a Laker game. And I kicked so high, I kicked myself in the face and my nose and I got really dizzy. <laughs> Luckily I recovered because dancers are just masters at recovering very quickly because the show must go on, as they always say. So you figure it out, figure out how to just keep going. And four, all right, I've gone off on a tangent. Three, two, and one. All right, ah, did you kick yourself in the nose? <laughs> okay, here we go. Clam to arabesque, press into the elbow. Nice little clam here. And then we're going to extend. So my foot's a little bit behind my mat. And 20, 19, remember to rotate the hip. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, stay supported in the upper body, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we've got our last one, here we go. Okay, kneeling to three-legged dog. Tuck that back toe, nice long arabesque, and lower down, good. And 20, 19, 18. Getting the heart rate up a bit more here. S softly, softly land. Remember you can hover those knees if you want a little extra challenge. Nice, 14 and 13, 12. 11, stay strong in the arms, 10, nine, land softly, eight, seven, six, five, four, almost there, three, so close, two, and one, Whew. wow, all right. That felt so good, great job. Make sure that you like this video if you liked it. That supports me in creating more videos for you. You can take a quick little butterfly stretch. Whew. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment below, let me know what you liked. And if you want full 30 to 40 minute long bar workouts, and work out live with me, then go ahead and check out my Stretchy Fit app. You can start free today. I'll leave that link down below in the description box. All right, guys, beautiful work. So proud of you for showing up today, taking care of your beautiful body, and I'll see you in the next video. And come say hello to me on Instagram, Action Jacqueline. Okay, bye.